I... I don't really know what the fuck I'm supposed- I know. Why did you- I know, I'm really sorry. I didn't want to, like, but it's just too much, maybe, to just have to know and not say. To know and not say, so I said it, and I guess that might have been too much to- Yeah, I was literally gonna say. I don't know, I'm sorry, I guess. I was gonna say, like, I'm sorry, it's too much for you, and like, I know that's gonna sound sarcastic, which it's not. Like, I genuinely, yeah, so yeah, sorry. But it's like, you don't think at all. Did you ever think about the fact that it's too fucking much for me too, now? I'm sorry. Like, we could've, I feel like the whole time we've been friends, like, it hasn't even been, like, real. Like, this whole time it was just some fucking weird, like, cuffed jeans, sharp up pinning shit. Shit that, you know I can't reciprocate, so why did you feel that way? And why well, would you exactly tell me help how I feel? And Jesus obviously, Christ, why if would I you could, tell you I feel wouldn't that feel way. this way. So you just piling shit on top of me isn't helpful. It's just cruel. I'm not being cruel. It's just self self defense. From what? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think my gayness is gonna like manifest and choke you slowly like a sea monster? It's not a threat unless you make it one. Sorry I'm so captivatingly terrifying ethereal to you. Why are you talking like fucking Shakespeare? You're being such a dick, dude. No, I just, I, we've been friends for so long and like, it's not about if it's gay. Like, if it were a guy, it would be the same, but it's just like, how long? And like, why now? It feels like you've been sitting on this for God knows how long and you were just waiting until I was too vulnerable to fight back or something. And it feels like you just took something so good and like ruined it on purpose, out of spite. It's like self-sabotage, but also sabotage to me. Did you ever take your head out of your ass for like one second to realize it might not be about you? Like maybe this is just something I need to do or say or whatever so it can be normal again. We were normal until no, you- No, we weren't. That's what I'm saying. It's like you're so obsessed with yourself with that myself. you think if you feel normal, then the whole world is fine, then everybody's doing great. But just like recognize that everybody is complex and like you're not the only one who feels things. No, that's not fair because when people. they feel things that don't fit into your life, itinerary or whatever BS thing. I'm not mad at you for feeling things. You can feel whatever you want, but it's different when it starts to involve someone else and their feelings and like however many years their friendship and like, you're just snatching it away. I'm like, not snatching away anything. I'll just choke it down like I've been doing for a year anyway. So it's not like I don't know how. And it'll be easier now because I know that you know I think about it and that's it. So it's just like I'm not in suspense anymore. So that's like great. I'm not asking you to choke down how you feel. I just- Yes, yes, you literally are. I tried to tell you how I feel. Yeah, you can feel how you feel, whatever, but it's now you've made it my problem. You're unreal right now. I can't believe. Wait, no, sorry, that was wrong. Not my problem. Like, you know, I always am here for you, but you have involved yeah, because me. you're my best friend. Best friends talk to each other when they're in love with someone they can't have, and it just so happens to be you. Listen, sorry. Though, you've involved me in a way that, like, I can't help but be biased and, like, sad and just, like, a little angry, I guess. Hey, if you could stop listing off a feelings chart to me and talk to me like an adult fucking human, that would be great. Will you just shut well, up? I'm trying me? to listen, but I can't. You're so, you're, you're not understanding. Like I literally even said, please don't let this affect us. I just have to say it or it's just going to keep being weird. And just because I said it doesn't mean you haven't noticed before. Like, don't try to tell me I caught you by surprise. Don't you think it's better? that you know? I mean, you've guessed, but now you definitely know, and I know you know, and it's just like marble instead of sand. It's just solid footing. Hey, English major, we're trying to have a fucking conversation. Can you just shut up? Like, shut up, I just, you have no idea how hard it is to lose a friend this close, and you've let me be sad because that's, that's a lot. Such, I, I never, of course I'm going to let you be sad, but I'm not going to let you leave and then blame me. You're the one who's acting like this is some scandal that we can never recover from. We can still be friends. Why are you acting like this is something we can never come back from? Why are from? you acting like the world is fucking ending? Because it is. It is ending. No, that's hard for you to see because your world is you, but my world is also 
you and one is pristine and the other is a ruin so i could see where that would be confusing you are so selfish listen listen i i am my perspective my world and my world is you we are the world and we are a mirror and we are reflective i guess that sounds like sound like an idiot but you know what i mean like there's more of you and me than either of us really want to admit right now you never make any fucking sense so i guess just watch how you talk about yourself i'm really sorry yeah no i didn't know you did yeah but not for sure and it's just sad yeah Do you ever feel like you're, like, trapped in this room? Kind of, but it's not trapped because I don't mind not being able to leave. Huh. I, I think I do mind. Yeah. I feel, huh? I feel like I want to go to the park. Oh. Is that, will you go with me? swings I don't I don't know man I feel like if I leave this room it will disappear and I won't find my way back I feel like you're not making sense that's because I'm not so will you go maybe I just need to go home I feel like this is to my friend not the girl I like like if I get on the swings, I feel like I won't be able to control it, and they'll like get way too high, and I will scream, and you will watch me, and you won't be able to help. You'll watch while I claw at the bar at the top and try desperately to get off this rusty swing set, and finally I'll be too high up to do anything but pray, and then I open my eyes, and the swing set is gone because it will throw me into space. And the only thing that will keep me from falling, like the edge of the universe to the sand and shattering like glass, is like a huge scream. A parachute of a scream. But I don't think I'll be able to do it. I think the only scream I'll be able to do is like the quiet whisper scream you do to your pillow and your voice memos and God in the middle of the night because you are grieving everything you ever loved. But at the same fucking time, you'll be damned if you wake up your parents. But yeah, it'll be the strangest, most somber cry for help you've ever heard. But you might not even hear it because it'll be a whisper because I don't think I'll have any voice left because I've used it up already. And I've left is this whisper that I'm choking and that's all. Okay. I'm sorry, it's just so much. Does that make sense?